Ezekiel chapter 46 More regulations for worship Thus saith the Most High Power The gate of the inner court that looketh towards the east Shall be shut the six working days But on the Sabbath it shall be open And in the day of the new moon it shall be open And the prince shall enter by the way of the porch of the gate without And shall stand by the post of the gate and the priest shall prepare his burnt offering and his peace offerings, and he shall worship at the threshold of the gate. Then he shall go forth, but the gate shall not be shut until the evening. Likewise, the people of the land shall worship at the door of this gate before I am in the Sabbaths and in the new moons. And the burnt offerings that the prince shall offer unto I am in the Sabbath day shall be six lambs without blemish and a ram without blemish. And the meat offering shall be an ephah for a ram and the meat offering for the lambs as he shall be able to give and an hen of oil to an ephah. And in the day of the new moon it shall be a young bullock without blemish and six lambs and a ram. They shall be without blemish. And he shall prepare a meat offering, an ephod for a bullock, and an ephod for a ram, and for the lambs according as his hand shall attain unto, and an hen of oil to an ephod. And when the prince shall enter, he shall go by the way of the porch of that gate, and he shall go forth by the way thereof. But when the people of the land shall come before I am in the solemn feast, he that entereth in by the way of the north gate to worship shall go out by the way of the south gate, and he that entereth by the way of the south gate shall go forth by the way of the north gate. He shall not return by the way of the gate whereby he came in, but shall go forth over against it. And the prince in the midst of them, when they go in, shall go in, and when they go forth, shall go forth. And in the feast, and in the solemnities, the meat offering shall be an ephod to a bullock, and an ephod to a ram, and the lambs, as he is able to give, and an hen of oil to an ephod. Now, when the prince shall prepare a voluntary burnt offering, or peace offerings voluntarily unto I am, one shall then open him the gate that looketh towards the east, and he shall prepare his meat offering and his peace offerings, as he did on the Sabbath day. Then... He shall go forth, and after his goings forth, one shall shut the gate. Thou shalt daily prepare a burnt offering unto I am, of a lamb of the first year without blemish. Thou shalt prepare it every morning, and thou shalt prepare a meat offering for it every morning, the sixth part of an ephah, and the third part of an hen of oil, to temper with the fine flour, a meat offering continually, by a perpetual ordinance, unto I am. Thus shall they prepare the lamb, and the meat offering, and the oil, every morning for a continual burnt offering, in order for the prince's inheritance. Thus saith the Most High Power, if the prince give a gift unto any of his sons, the inheritance thereof shall be his sons. It shall be their possession by inheritance. But if he give a gift of his inheritance to one of his servants, then it shall be his to the year of liberty. After it shall return to the prince, but his inheritance shall be his sons for them. Moreover, the prince shall not take of the people's inheritance by oppression, to thrust them out of their possession, but he shall give his son's inheritance out of his own possession, that my people be not scattered every man from his possession. The courts for boiling and baking. After he brought me through the entry, which was at the side of the gate, into the holy chambers of the priests, which looked towards the north, and behold, there was a place on the two sides westward. Then said he unto me, This is the place where the priests shall boil the trespass offering and the sin offering, where they shall bake the meat offering, that they bear them not out into the utter court to sanctify the people. Then he brought me forth into the utter court and caused me to pass by the four corners of the court. And behold, in every corner of the court, there was a court. In the four corners of the court, there were courts joined of 40 cubits long and 30 broad. These four corners were of one measure, and there was a row of building round about in them, round about them four, and it was made with boiling places under the rows round about. 
Then said he unto me, These are the places of them that boil, where the ministers of the house shall boil the sacrifice of the people. All praise to the power of the Son of Man, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Father, I am that I am, and his only begotten Son, the Son of Man. And I'm looking through Ezekiel, and it looks like we only have about two more chapters left in Ezekiel. And I just want to give you all a quick preview of what we're going to be reading next because um, I've been at work lately and I've been using the free supplies, you know what I'm saying, to my advantage, including the printer. You know, those industrial printers that, you know, some jobs have that have the two slots to put the paper in and all that. Well, I've been taking advantage of my company's computer and printer and printing out big fat Bible stack books you know what i'm saying bible thickness books that i basically got for free as a pdf online you know what i'm saying i downloaded well i printed out um what was it i printed out the book of jubilees i printed out the uh dead sea scrolls i printed out the first book of adam and eve i printed out the uh 12 uh patriarchs um something something about the 12 uh, patriarchs but these books are so fat including the dead sea scroll is so fat y'all that it literally takes like two regular bibles to equate to the thickness of the dead sea scrolls and i basically got it for free you know what i'm saying i mean it's not stealing all it's doing is utilizing resources so with that being said what we're gonna read next after ezekiel it's going to be the book of Jasher. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get into detail of Father Abraham's life. You know what I'm saying? Because Genesis doesn't really give us much justice as to his overall life. You know what I'm saying? The book of Jasher really goes into detail of Genesis. Basically, the book of Jasher is baby Genesis. With that being said, all praise to the power of the Son of Man, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Father, I am that I am. And his only begotten son, the son of man, to finally come and rescue and redeem the righteous lost sheep of the house of Israel, both man and woman and child. All praise. Shalom.